It's working. So there's a lot of these demos going around Twitter right now where people are doing these demos with multiple browsers. And it's like they're seemingly communicating with each other and 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 drawing some stuff. And um, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought, let's let's figure out how it actually works. Um, so I have a little demo here with uh, with some lines being drawn between each of the browsers as well as I have my webcam being piped in here. So the way that it works is you get access to your user's window um, and it gives you a screen value. And the screen will give you the actual width and height of your user's monitor. And then you can tell where on the screen your user is by um, giving the screen X and screen Y. Um, then that data can be shared between multiple browser instances with a lot of people are like, oh, WebSocket or something like that. Um, that would that would certainly work, but this is just using local storage, which is super simple. Um, because unlike session storage, local storage is shared between all instances of an open tab if you have multiple versions of it open, uh, which is pretty nifty. So what I'm doing is every I'm just running a timeout right now where I'm simply the page loads, I get a screen ID that I just generate, and then I take all the data as well as when it was updated. And then you set that to local storage and I'm displaying the stats. And when somebody unloads the page or if I was having some trouble with old ones sticking around. So if it's over a second old, I just delete it from local storage. Then we draw an SVG here. I wrote this little library um, called PathMe, which allows you to programmatically draw SVG paths. And that came in actually really handy here so I could draw these SVG paths. Well, that one's that one's being a little bit funky. Here, let's try refresh it. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Let's get these. Let's get these straight. I'm all tangled up. There we go. I could write some code to figure out where the next one is, but right now they're just going in order of them being created. So you loop over each of the screens and you draw a path to each of them. And then the important bit here is that you have to offset it by however the X and Y inside of the screen. So I have both a video, which I'm using Get User Media to, to do, and I have the SVG that I've been drawing. And it's going to want to start in the top left-hand corner of the browser. So what you have to do is you have to use translate X and Y to move it to the top left-hand corner of your user's screen. And each of the browsers are offsetting the SVG and the video element by however much they are offset by. So pretty nifty. There's some really cool WebGL examples here, but I thought let's just do a very silly, simple example, uh, which is vanilla JavaScript, probably 100, 100 lines of code or so. Um, and it's up and running. So pretty fun, fun little thing to do. Hope you enjoy. Peace.